Opposites attract, right? Opposites attract. Let's say you marry your opposite and then spend the rest of your life trying to get to know them. <laughs> Isn't that so true? I see that hand uh, yesterday on the spare of the moment, as one does for spontaneous Sean. We decided to go and visit my sister-in-law, who is an artist, an incredible artist. She's in Pringle Bay. If you want to know more about that, they're doing a beautiful display. Send me a DM. And uh, so we decided, let, let, let's go. And uh, about halfway there, Michelle said, are you sure they're open on Sundays? You know, the planner, the preparer. <laughs> uh, of course, they weren't open. She, you know, she, we found that out. But we had, a, we had a great time anyway. We went to one of the markets in that area. Spontaneous Sean <laughs> came through in the end. But folks, the other thing is, if you're in a relationship, you more than likely are in a relationship with someone that's opposite to you. And there's gold in that relationship. There's gold in those hills. But you can easily get uh, frustrated. There can be misunderstandings and, 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 and uh, you know, people get upset and <laughs> there's tension and conflict if you don't understand each other's personality styles. In order to know more about personality styles, send me a DM, send me a comment. I've put together a free webinar. I'd love to send you a link to that free webinar. This has been Sean. And don't forget, opposites do attract. So just enjoy that. There's gold in those hills.